Hello everyone, this is Feeks, and this is the 2x4 drawbridge. This is something Overlook ENT and I came up with. Um, basically, he wanted a bridge that could extend and retract for a sub request, and he was having a lot of trouble building it, so he asked me to see what I could come up with. Um, he knew that I built a bridge, it was just a 1x3 bridge a long time ago. It was really slow and extremely bulky, but uh, he knew I at least built one, so he asked me for help. Um, he wanted at least a two, uh, like a two walkways instead of just a one. And then I figured since if you could do two, you could probably do a, just mirror it over because I was going to do that for my bridge anyway. So this is what I came up with. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It, uh, it isn't all that big and bulky. Like this looks extremely large, but it isn't all that bad. This is the whole bridge system right here just uh this is just mirrored four times so this is the extending system and then this is the retracting system and then that's all you do you just copy this over four times like here here and then on the uh, across the uh pathway of whatever you want to build so that's all that is and then this is just the button system right here it just it's just one button with two outputs and if you didn't want to build the system you could just have two separate buttons but i like having everything in one button so that's that and yeah that's pretty much it you just build those two things and you have your bridge um something else is if you wanted to have buttons on both sides because i just have button on, on one button on the side if you wanted to put the button on the side too you would have to mirror this the button system and then you'd have to run the wires back across over here so you would have four things going over top or underneath however you decide to do it so just for the sake of simplicity I just did one button um, another thing that it, uh, I should point out is the redstone right here is visible and there's nothing you can do to avoid it at least if you go with this design um, like the only way you could cover it up is by going like this and that is completely pointless because then you just create a two block jump um, it is possible to jump over four blocks but it's a little more difficult and you're more likely to die trying than at least if you're in survival than actually succeeding so I'm gonna show you guys how to build this it's not that difficult like I said that was just that's the bridge system and then that's the button system so I'm gonna go find a clear spot more than likely over there and I'll see you guys in a second alright so all together this each side only requires six sticky pistons two of which go right here to create the double piston extender this block right here is going to be the part of the bridge so the next thing you're going to want to build is a 3x3 platform with a hole in the center like so and this is what's going to make the double piston extender next piston goes down right here it's tucked away in this little hole and then you can fill that back up alright so then the repeaters go this full tick this on 3 tick and then this one right here no ticks then you just put redstone everywhere else except for in the center because the piston is going to come up and then we're going to put redstone here a little dip down like this and then that's right there and then another thing we're going to want to build is a piston right here above that redstone this is going to have another block also part of your bridge so then another thing we're going to need is uh, that doesn't go there Red, uh, block like that then two blocks out with two repeaters on full delay like that another block with the redstone dust we're going to come down this way with a block with a repeater another block with the redstone dust a block a piston here so that's uh, five out of six repeaters or pistons actually there's seven pistons geez I need to learn how to count Alright, so that's that, and I think this should be the double piston extender, or the part that at least pushes it out, right here, so you push that button, there, so it pushes, now we just need to build the retracting system, so what you need to do here is put a block right here, a torch on this side right here, I should power those, alright, so then we need to unpower that block so we want to put redstone dust here you need this block here otherwise it will connect to redstone 
So we'll put the block there. And then we need to bridge out two. And then put a torch. And that should disable those. It does. Alright. So now we need to go over here. We put redstone dust. Like so. All along there. We need to have another repeater over here. And this will come and meet these guys. Down like so. You want to put a block here and a block here and then put redstone dust on all of this. Right there. So the bridge system is almost complete. Right here is going to be the input block. So we need right here. You need this piece of redstone dust. I don't know why. It does not work without it. So we need that there. Or at least you need at least one piece of re uh, redstone dust before the repeater. I'm just going to do that. Uh, for some reason it glitches out and it doesn't work it, like it's beyond me it's just the glitchiness of the game game all right so then we need a block there a block here and then it goes repeater redstone actually wait I think you can, with the button there you can do just repeaters these are all four ticks you need four repeaters on four ticks like so four ticks and then redstone dust and I think that's the whole bridge system. Wait, you need this right there. And then two pieces of redstone. And I believe that is the full bridge system. This should retract. If I can push the button. There it goes, it retracts. So this is the extendable system. Push it and extends it. And then you push this and retract it. Uh, something you do want to know is when you run the wire into this block, you need to put a repeater here. This is to put for the extending system, so you're going to want to go something like this. And then you can run this redstone wire wherever you want. Like if you want to have two separate buttons, you can just push that and it'll extend it. And then the redstone dust, like I said, you need the redstone dust here. And you need to cut it off like that. And then you want to put a repeater into this. Like that. So then there's your system. You can run these wires anywhere you want. And then all you do is just mirror this whole system. So there's the button to retract it. And then here's the button to extend it. Alright. So now the actual button system to, if you want to make it all just one button, all you do is make a standard looking T flip flop. You have, uh, it, these can be sticky pistons, but I always use regular pistons. Alright, so just those blocks, torch like that, or two pistons on the side and then a block in the center. You want to do repeater, repeater, redstone dust, redstone dust, repeater, two pieces of redstone right there. I don't know why I said repeater. Alright, and then that's the whole system right there. You just put the button right here and it gives you two outputs. Um, to make sure you... Uh, get different signals you want to put a redstone dust there and a repeater there so then you can just take the signal out this way for the repeater and you just want to make sure these two don't connect otherwise it defeats the purpose so there like that so there's the bridge that gives you two alternate button systems right there so basically all you want to do is you want to take when you build this button system, if you want to make it so you only have one button, you just run this signal into one side. Make sure it all matches up for uh, each side of the bridge. So uh, say you want that to this button, this side to be the retracting system. So you just have to make sure you run all on every side, all that, that line into these this block right here, of this repeater, and then same thing. Everything that runs into this line runs into this block to be the reach, uh, extending system like that and I'll give you a quick example over here see how I have it this line right here all runs into the extending system right there even on this side runs into the extending system and then if you go above it it runs across and then all this runs into the extending system like so and then same thing for the retracting system I just want underneath the block so that way I had room, and then all this just runs into the extending system. 
I'll just give you another look over here. This runs right into that block right there, which was the extending system. So that is the 2x4 drawbridge. It, I honestly don't think it's all that difficult. It'll probably take a long time to bridge, uh, build until you get like the hang of each side. Like Even though I was the one that came up with it, I still had to keep going back to that and build it like 5 or 6 different times while building it. But I do hope you guys find this helpful. I hope you find it useful. And I hope it's what you guys wanted. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.